हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल एंड चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस लिमिटेशंस ऑफ बोर्स आटम मॉडल लेट्स वेगेन बोर्स थ्योरी व्हेन वी अप्लाई दैट बोर्स थ्योरी टू आटम विथ मोर देन वन इलेक्शन द प्रेडिक्शंस do not agree with experiments certain predicted lines do not observe at all basically the postulates given by bohr regarding atom model is valid only for atom containing single electron and he consider hydrogen atom in case of hydrogen atom there are one electron and all the postulates are uh, valid by taking hydrogen atom in case of hydrogen atom there are one electron so when we experimentally dealing with another atoms these atoms in which there are uh, two or uh, more number of electrons then as predicted by bohr in case of one electron atom these predictions are totally different in case of atoms having more than one electrons that's why it can't explain the spectra of multi electron atoms it fails to explain fails to explain the spectra of multi electron more than one multi electron atoms it fails to explain the spectra of multi electron atoms one of the limitation next when the spectral lines are studied with a high resolution spectrograph spectrograph is uh, an optical instrument through which we can easily detect the spectral lines each line is found to consist of a group of several lines and this is a group of several lines very close together and this is called the fine structure of hydrogen atom as bohr predicted his postulates regarding the hydrogen spectrum as he observed the hydrogen spectrum as the lyman series balmer series passen bracket and uh, pippon series when that uh, spectral lines are uh, seen by using spectrograph so we see that that the single line actually not single line it is consist of a group of uh, several lines and this group of several lines are very close to each other which is called the fine structure of hydrogen atom but uh, that fine structure can't explained by bohr's atomic model okay that is uh, another uh, drawback so here we can write it does not explain it does not explain mamu to lo 
the fine structure of spectral lines. The fine structure of spectral lines. As you consider hydrogen atom, the fine structure of hydrogen atom is uh, a spectral line is uh, not a single one that is uh, a group of uh, several lines which are very close to each other. At the same time, uh, we write that the Bohr's theory or Bohr's model of uh, an atom can not explain the fine structure of spectral lines. What is fi uh, fine structure? Fine structure means that uh, single uh, spectral line is exactly not uh, single that is the combination of a number of very close lines. Next drawback, it is uh, observed experimentally that uh, some spectral lines are stronger and others are weaker in intensity. Let we consider uh, magnetic field or electric field and uh, we see that spectral lines under such uh, electric field as well as magnetic field and we notice in case of strong electric field or magnetic field the spectral lines are splitted. Again in case of uh, weak uh, electric field and uh, magnetic field these are again splitted and that depends upon the intensity. Here again we can write it does not predict anything about the relative intensity of spectral lines. How these spectral lines behave under strong as well as weak electric field and magnetic field. Another drawbacks of Bohr's theory of atomic model not predicting the relative intensity of spectral lines. Next limitation, one of the postulate according to Bohr, the electrons revolving around the nucleus in a certain permitted orbits and these orbits are defined as in such orbits the electron revolved, the angular momentum of that uh, electron is integral multiple of h by 2 pi. But uh, according to Bohr's postulate, that one looks arbitrary. Arbitrary in the sense there is uh, no reason for assuming the orbit to be circular and angular momentum equal to integral multiple of h pi. So, that one is another limitation of Bohr's theory. Next, it does not explain the splitting of spectral lines under the effect of magnetic field. In that point we discuss how experimentally it is clear that some spectral lines are stronger and others are weaker in intensity. In the same time when uh, we passed that uh, spectral lines under magnetic field or electric field these spectral lines are splitted, but why these spectral lines are splitted not explained by Bohr. These are some basic points which clarify the limitations of Bohr's atomic model. So, here uh, with the help of this video lecture we understand limitations of uh, Bohr atom model. First one it fails to explain the spectra of multi electron atom, does not explain the fine structure of spectral lines, it does not predict anything about the relative intensity of spectral lines and uh, the postulates look arbitrary means no reason that orbit is to be circular and its uh, angular moment 
is equal to integral multiple of s by 2 pi. Last one, it does not explain the splitting of spectral lines under the effect of magnetic field. So, with this useful and informative notes, let me wind up the session. Thank you.